subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Shivangi Mishra. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 10th of January. India's COVID-19 cases multiply. Vulnerable groups given vaccine boosters. IMF defers Pakistan's sixth review to release one billion dollar under fund facility. And baby lost in chaos of Afghanistan, airlift found. Return to family. And now for all the details. India began administering precaution doses to healthcare workers, frontline workers, and senior citizens with comorbidities on Monday, amid the surge in COVID-19 cases driven by the Omicron variant. Since the pandemic began, India has recorded 35.7 million cases of COVID-19, the highest in the world after the United States. India began administering booster doses of COVID-19 vaccine to frontline workers and vulnerable elderly people on Monday, with the fast-spreading Omicron variant fueling an almost eight-fold rise in daily infections since the start of the year. In recent days, hundreds of healthcare and frontline workers, including police, have contracted the virus. Facing this rising third wave of infections, the government sent booster reminders to more than 10 million people who took the second dose of the Covaxin or Covishield shot nine months ago. Only healthcare personnel, frontline workers and people above 60 years suffering from other health conditions are eligible for what the government calls a precaution dose. I have my third vaccination dose और यहां पे जो सिस्टम वगैरह जो उनका है वो बहुत अच्छा है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुई बहुत जल्दी काम हो गया है टुडे एंड टुमारो विल गिव द बूस्टेड बूस्टेड डोज फॉर ऑल द हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स इंक्लूडिंग द डॉक्टर्स पैरामेडिकल स्टाफ नर्सेस हाउस सर्जेंट्स पीजीस सिक्योरिटी एंड सैनिटरी पेशेंट्स इंडिया रिपोर्टेड 179723 न्यू केसेस ऑन मंडे most of them in the country's biggest cities, Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata, where Omicron has overtaken Delta as the most prevalent strain of the virus. There were 146 deaths reported on Monday, bringing the total toll to 483,936 since the pandemic first struck India in early 2020. Only the United States and Brazil have recorded more deaths. Tasked with protecting India's nearly 1.4 billion people from the virus, the government has administered 1.5 billion vaccine doses in total. About 67% of the country's 939 million adults have been double vaccinated. The International Monetary Fund on Monday defers Pakistan's consideration of completion of the sixth review and release of a 1 billion US dollar tranche under the extended funds facility. This came after the request from Islamabad, which has so far been unable to pass recommended fiscal tightening measures tied to the fund's release. The International Monetary Fund, or IMF, on Monday deferred Pakistan's consideration of the completion of the sixth review and release of one billion US dollars tranche after receiving a request from Pakistani authorities. Spokesperson to the finance minister confirmed the consideration was scheduled for 12th of January and the new date is yet to be determined. This comes as Pakistan has so far been unable to pass recommend fiscal tightening measures tied to the release of the funding. As soon as the legislative procedures are completed in the parliament, the IMF board will consider it for the approval. Pakistan's finance ministry said, referring to a mid-year budget that slashes a number of duty exemptions and introduces new revenue measures. The legislation has met fierce resistance from the opposition amidst rising inflation and a widening current account deficit. So, the region of Pakistan is the most important thing in the region. The most important thing in Pakistan is the most important thing in Pakistan. And today, this is the new law of the war. In the parliament, there are 350 Arab texts that are going to be used. कारोबारी तबका हो ताजर तबका हो उन्होंने कहा तबाही आएगी 
महंगाई का एक और तूफान आएगा पी एम इमरान खान लेट पी टी आई गवर्नमेंट हैज बिन क्रिटिसाइज बाई द पी एम एल एन पी 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 एंड अदर ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज विद सम लीडर्स डिमांडिंग खान टू रिजाइन फॉर फेलिंग टू कंट्रोल इन्फ्लेशन लास्ट वीक द गवर्नमेंट सेट इट वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट इट वुड पैस द बजट लेटर दिस मंथ Pakistani authorities have formed a five-member committee to investigate the causes and lapses that led to the death of at least 23 tourists who were stranded during a snowstorm in the hill station of Mari this past weekend. The government has declared Mari as a calamity hit area while rescue operations still continued till the last reports came in. Pakistani authorities have formed a five member committee to investigate the causes and lapses in the tragedy at the popular hill station at Muri where at least 23 people died in freezing temperatures after being stranded in their vehicles this past weekend snowfall which began last tuesday continued at regular intervals attracting thousands of tourists to enjoy the snow Due to the huge number of visitors many families ended up getting stranded on the roads the government has declared the hill station as a calamity hit area Punjab chief minister Usman Buzdar on Twitter informed that in 7 days the inquiry committee will present its report and action will be taken against those responsible for negligence without any discrimination for the tragedy in Murray where military and civil agencies are continuing relief efforts Meanwhile all vehicles have been barred from entering Murray until Monday night while all main roads are set to be cleared of snow Local media reported that over 100,000 vehicles had entered the hill station in the past one week Opposition political leaders have criticized the government for its handling of the influx of tourists and inadequate preparations Moving on to news from Afghanistan an infant baby boy handed in desperation to a soldier across an airport wall in the kiosk of American evacuation of Afghanistan has been found and was reunited with his relatives in Kabul over the past weekend the infant Sohail Ahmedi was just 2 months old when he went missing on August 19th as thousands of people rushed to leave Afghanistan as it fell to the rule of Taliban An infant boy handed in desperation to a soldier across an airport wall in the kiosk of American evacuation of Afghanistan has been found and was reunited with his relatives in Kabul on Saturday. During the tumultuous Afghan evacuation over the summer, Mirza Ali Ahmadi, the boy's father, who had worked as a security guard at the US embassy, and his wife Suraya feared their son would get crushed in the crowd as they neared the airport gates en route to a flight to the United States. Baby Sohail Ahmadi was just 2 months old when he went missing on August 19. He was traced to Kabul home of a taxi driver Hamid Safi who was raising him as his own. After more than 7 weeks of negotiation and pleas and ultimately brief detention by Taliban police, Safi finally handed the child back to his Jabilian grandfather and other relatives in Kabul. Taflak ke bana mein Mohammad Sahil ke da pain mein kuch da medanawi gum shuda ba Hamid Jan paida kada bud بود بابا کلامش بنام محمد قاسم که آمد دوزه ماما بز همه جانا پیدا کردیم ما ویار بای کدیه اما توافق رسانم تا که سبوت هایی که بودم و اکسا و چیزایی که دخ... تلویزنان نشه شده بود مطابق سبوت ویار بایم دیگه جور آمد سنه کردیم اما تفلک ایمروز تسلیم بشه میکنیم ایمروز اجده هم ماه جدی یک روز تاریخیش برای ما که همه نواسه به دست ما آمده و یه در برای خود گرفتیم و رسانه در حضور ما قرار دارند و این تسلیم دهی همه تفلک یه رسانه شد ما بسیار قدرداری میکنیم از کسانی که آنها یعنی مشهور رسانه در این محل آمدن در خانه آمد جان و این تفلک برای ما سپاریدن Amid lots of tears and brokenness the baby's return has brought joy to the family the story highlights the plight of other families who were separated in the chaos of the evacuation in august post the taliban take over a fire swept through rohingya refugee camp in southeastern bangladesh on sunday 
destroying hundreds of homes, according to officials and witnesses. Though there were no immediate reports of casualties. The blaze hit Camp 16 in Cox's Bazar, a border district where more than a million Rohingya refugees live, with most having fled a military-led crackdown in Myanmar in 2017. Mohammad Shamsud Doza, a Bangladeshi government official, said the emergency workers had brought the fire under control. The cause of the blaze has not been established, he added. Another blaze tore through a COVID-19 treatment center for refugees in another refugee camp in the district last Sunday, causing no casualties. A devastating fire last March swept through the world's biggest refugee settlement in Cox's Bazar, killing at least 15 refugees and burning down more than 10,000 shanties. Tourists in India's northern Shimla were elated to witness a fresh spell of snow as the hill town turned to a winter wonderland over the past weekend. Meanwhile, dense fog caused low visibility in other parts of northern India, affecting movement of people who wore multiple layers of clothing to protect themselves from the cold. Tourists in India and then Shimla were elated to witness a fresh spell of snow as the hill turned into a winter wonderland over the past weekend. The little ones were seen having fun with friends and throwing snowballs at each other. Visitors, some of whom witnessed snow for the first time, said snowfall made their winter sojourn exquisite. Life snowfall is so good. It feels like cotton, cotton candy is falling on our heads. It's so fun. We are enjoying a lot. Meanwhile, dense fog caused low visibility in India's northern Ferozpur city, affecting the movement of people who wore multiple layers of clothing to protect themselves from the cold. Sir, coffee is not going to be able to get coffee. It is not going to be able to get coffee. It is not going to be able to get coffee. It is not going to be able to get coffee. It is not going to be able to get coffee. It is not going to be Meanwhile, rain in capital New Delhi on Sunday brought the mercury down and people stayed indoors amid a weekend curfew due to rising COVID-19 cases. Snowfall in states like Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh has a direct impact on other northern states like Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and in the national capital. South Asia's winters are not as cold as other regions such as North America. But the millions of poor here are hit harder because they live in the open and do not have enough warm clothes. Hindu devouts in southern India worked on fire embers to appease their god and pray for the well-being of their families. Scores of devotees strung the tribal village of Kurigiri to perform this unique ritual. Hindu devotees walk barefoot on burning embers in southern India's Kudigiri village to please a local temple deity, Lord Ayappa, for prosperity and good fortune. The devotees call Mala Diaries created a 12 feet long, 4 feet wide and 2 feet deep pit and filled it with burning embers. Then they dipped their hand into a hot oil and walked barefoot on the embers as part of a bizarre ritual. It's a holy ritual and annual celebration of God Ayappa Swami. I, I visited last year too. Maladari's walk on hot bed. It's, a, it's shocking to see. The devotees also danced to the sound of traditional drums and shared tweets after performing special prayers. The annual pilgrimage to the Ayappa temple in neighboring Kerala starts in the first week of January. Fire walking is an ancient ritual that originated in India and is often still practiced to show people devotion and faith in a deity. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianNewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianNewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.